Hey shit. guys, welcome back. I got a ton of requests, so I thought I would do a quick review of the Pure Clean Robot Vacuum that I got from Amazon because it was super cheap. I was on the hunt for a really inexpensive robot vacuum. First impressions, it feels really cheap. It's light. I mean, obviously it was $89 and I was a little nervous because it doesn't have any beater bars. But let me tell you, it actually works. I do not recommend this for carpet, but if you have hardwood floors or laminate, or you just want a quick thing to sweep your kitchen, for under $100, this robot vacuum actually does a super good job. So let me show you all about it. So robot vacuums are my jam because I'm lazy, but let's be honest, this Roomba 980, $1,200. Even the cheapest Roomba option that you can go with is about $299 for the 500 series. So to find a robot vacuum for $89, I had to test it out. Totally not sponsored. I just wanted to see if it worked as a really good option for you guys. Definitely the pros of the Roomba, well, they're better quality. They definitely vacuum more, they have a stronger vacuum, and they have beater bars so they can tackle carpet. And they can transition easy from carpet to flooring no matter what you have. But the downside of having beater bars is if you're like me and you have long hair, they can get gross. The beater bars can actually get tangled with your hair. So not having a beater bar is actually a really good option if you don't have carpets. It's way less maintenance. So now let's talk about battery life. I tested all of them and the Roomba 980's battery lasts for days and days and days. It, it goes forever and when it runs out, it goes back and recharges itself and keeps going. But for $1,200, you kind of expect that. The $300 option battery lasts for about two hours, but so does the $89 one. The battery life is totally comparable, which is awesome. For just $89, it can last you hours and do basically an entire 900 square foot space. Okay, so let's talk about cleaning them out. Both of these options, the $1,200 Roomba and the $300 Roomba, have the same size dirt compartment. So if you take a look, oh dear God, I forgot to empty this. I I'm just showing you. Same size, basically dirt compartment. And they also let you know when they're full. So you'll get a little like beepy noise and the more expensive one says, please empty your trash bin or whatever they call it. And so that's actually a really nice feature. That's a downsize to this little pure clean is that the actual compartment where you keep the dirt is teeny tiny. So you're gonna have to remember to empty it probably every couple of days because if it gets really full, it's gonna block the filter and just not pick up anything. So my honest opinion about this is if you don't have carpet in your home, if you have laminate or tile or hardwood floors, totally go for it. They all have the detector when it detects stairs as well, so you don't have to worry about them falling down the stairs. And for less than $100, you don't have to sweep. It will tackle the dirt and the grime and the hair. I say it's worth the investment. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this quick review. Again, not sponsored. I totally paid for this little thing just so I could test it for you and now I'm giving it away. To enter, the only thing you have to do is comment below. I'm gonna pick one of you at random and announce the winner on Friday and ship it anywhere in the world. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time. So thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. You heard the bird screaming in the back. It's calamity hour here. It's the bird and the dog and the dishwasher and the fridge started making noise and this is just how I roll. But I wanted to share a story with you that I've, I know I've probably shared before about the Roomba. So many of you have said to me, have you ever had um, you know, your Roomba vacuum dog poo? Yes, my friends, yes I have. I was once, I just got this brand new $1,200 Roomba and I was so excited and I was babysitting my cousin's dog for a week, seven days. She was going on vacation, she didn't have the shots up to date, she was desperate times and I offered to babysit the dog. It was not, trained. That dog crapped everywhere in my house. It was a night, it was a long, I had carpet at the, it was the longest week of my life, but I woke up to the Roomba kicking on one day at three in the morning. It, I don't know what happened. The hydro had gone off. It went all squirrely. It was on. And I was like, I'm just going to go back to sleep. But eventually I couldn't. I opened the door to poo, my friends. There was poo everywhere. And the poo was trapped in the beater bar. So it was 
dragging it across my white carpet. I should have filmed it, honestly. It probably would have went viral and I could have retired years ago. But I didn't film it. I screamed in horror and cried and then cried some more, drank some wine, and spent hours meticulously cleaning dog poo out of my $1,200 Roomba. And so, I mean, that is a downside that you won't have to worry about about this little $89 one because there's no beater bars. There's no poop getting stuck in this. And, and I'm not the only one. I've seen so many people post on social media the aftermath of, like it's like poopocalypse. It's just, Roomba, if your dog isn't trained, not a great idea. Anyways, thanks so much. I'll see you next time.